everyone, it's Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. And today we have our dialogue lesson called Dining in a Restaurant. And our first dialogue is called Dressing to the Nines. 没错，这个今天我们主题呢，好，这个对话主题是在餐厅发生的。然后我们主题的这个副标里面看到 Dressing to the Nines， 就是指盛装赴宴的意思。Oh yeah, Dressing to the Nines means you are super dressed up. You look super cool. And there's a really great story of why we say dressing to the nines. Just kidding, we don't know. So we're still waiting to see what the story is behind. Because we often think, wow, if you wear your clothes very well, you wear them 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 very well, 故事起源是什么？当老师刚刚讲的时候，我们后面我会告诉你精彩的故事，告诉你为什么是用九这个数字。我好兴奋，就事实上没有骗你的，根本没有这回事。<笑>我们也不知道为什么要用 dress to the nines， 哈、哦，那种感觉是很妙的。It's unclear， 呀、yeah, ，不晓得。不过没关系，我们看看今天对话内容，说不定会学到其他东西哦。All right, let's take a look at our story here. We have Jennifer and Basil, or Basil, because that's how they say it in England.、Mm-hmm, and、uh, they're getting ready to go out to eat. 没错，所以在这里的话，我们有两个主角，一个是 Jennifer， 一个是 Basil， 好，或者 Basil， 好，再再看你要怎么样去发。在英国的话，我听到 Basil 有机会蛮高的。然后他们决定呢 ，their Jennifer and Basil are getting ready for their anniversary dinner at the high-end restaurant. 他们呢决定要到这个高档的餐厅 high-end restaurant， 然后去享受他们的这个周年纪念。The opposite of a high-end restaurant is casual. Dining and that dining is just like our title, dining in a restaurant. 嗯，没错，这个相对相对于高档餐厅呢，我们讲一般那种平价小吃的话，我们可以用 casual 这个字。Casual 这个字拼法呢是 C A S U A L. Casual 意思是那种比较随性的，没有那么正式的。Jennifer says, Basil, please tell me you aren't wearing a plaid shirt and jeans. When we say please tell me something something, this actually it. We already know the answer. You don't need to tell me this. I know this. I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. Don't wear a plaid shirt and jeans to the high-end restaurant. 没有错，所以有时候听到人家 Please tell me that， 拜托你一定要跟我讲这件事情，好，或者是说拜托你千万不要告诉我，你居然就这样。很多时候你会看到 Please tell me you， 好，所以在这里 Jennifer 就问说啊、uh, ，Basil。Please tell me that you are not wearing a plaid shirt and jeans. 千万不要告诉我，你就穿这样就要去了，穿着这种格子的衬衫跟这个这个牛仔裤，你就要去这个餐厅里头了。P L A I D is plaid, not played. Be careful there. 嗯。Uh, Jennifer, excuse me. Basil says, "Why not? We're paying a lot for this meal, so I should be able to wear whatever I want." Wrong, Basil. <笑>所以在这里我要特别注意，你去高档餐厅的话，你还要注意他的穿着。有些高档餐厅一看到说，呃、啊，你穿拖鞋进来，他就把你挡在门外。有时候会在国外会碰到这种状况。所以这个 Basil 讲说，为什么不嘞？哎 ，We are paying a lot, a lot for this meal. 我们花很多钱才吃这这顿呢。So I should be able to wear whatever I want. 我想穿什么就穿什么，他管得了我吗？<笑>嗯 Jennifer says they probably won't even let us in the restaurant like that. They probably won't even allow or permit us in the restaurant like that. 没错，老师刚刚提到这个字 allow 或者是 permit， 就是指允许的意思。通常我们会说 allow someone to do something。Permit someone to do something 都是允许某人去做某事，所以在这个地方他就说了 ，Jennifer 讲说 ，They they probably won't even let us in the restaurant like that。你穿这样子，搞不好人家连进去都不让我们进去嘞。好，这是不可以的。She also says there is a formal dress code, so why don't you wear that suit you got for Tina's wedding last year? I love how you look in that. No, okay. So, next, he's saying there's a formal dress code. Dress code 就是有服装服仪的那种规定。你要穿的高，穿到某一个这种层级，就是变得是比较正式一点，人家才进让你进入这种高档餐餐厅。这种情况叫 dress code。比方说，今天如果你参加一个宴会，然后有说 dress code 的话，就是大概要 semi formal。Yeah. 好，意思就是半正式的服装。你可能你就要。
按照那个东西去穿着，你不能穿得太随便。所以接下来他就 Jennifer 就讲说了 ，Why don't you wear that suit you got for Tina's wedding last year？ 你要不要穿去年我们参加 Tina 婚礼的时候那件西装啊？那件穿起来很好看呢、欸。Yeah， a dress code， a code actually means you have a lot of laws about one thing。嗯，就是规定的意思。Now,、uh, why don't you wear is also a strong、uh, suggestion. We think this is a good idea. 嗯，没错。所以当你提到说 why don't you do something， 你要不要干脆就这样做，意思就是一个很好。当你要提议的时候 ，why don't you do something？ 好，这很常用。Basil said, but it's so hot out. Jennifer says it's our anniversary. 哇、oh, ，两个人就争执不休了，<笑>对不对？哈，哦，外面很热呢。哎，可是这是我们这个周年纪念呢。你周年纪念你就穿这样子吗？拜托，你不要这样子哦。哈、oh. ，Basil says you're right, honey. I'll take out the jacket and throw it on. I'll put it on. OK， 所以好就说，嗯，说来也对。Basil 就讲了，你说的对啊，亲爱的。I'll take out the jacket and throw it on. 好了，我穿件这个外套，然后把它穿上我身上，这样 OK 了吧？ Jennifer says, "I'm sure you'll look good. What do you think of this new dress?" Okay, 接下来 Jennifer 就这样哦，好吧，好吧，好 ，I'm sure you'll look good. 我就知道你这样穿会比较好看嘛，哈。What do you think of this new dress? 那你看看我穿这样这件新衣服如何啊？<笑>突然之间就话题就转到自己身上了。And the correct answer is, boys, as always, you look absolutely stunning. <笑>好哦，所以不管人家怎么说，男士们只要听到女生问说你觉得穿这样好不好看？正确答案，标准答案一定说好看哦，怎么那么好看？大概是这样子。所以英文的版的版本呢，就是 You look absolutely stunning。好，这个词的话很好使用。She looks like a garbage can. You still say absolutely stunning. 我的天，老师说，就她看起来像垃圾桶一样，你也说哇，这看起来这这么美的垃圾桶啊，<笑>这也太狗腿了吧，<笑>太厉害了。Jennifer says you're sweet. Now I remember why I keep you around. Okay, Jennifer 讲说，哇、哦，你嘴真甜。Okay， 老师说 ，Now I remember why I keep you around。好，之所以我一直把你留在身边，原因就是这样，你嘴实在太甜了。Explanation。All right, then Basil says, Have you seen my black tennis shoes, my sneakers in America, or my trainers in England? 嗯，没有错。所以说他这边问到说，哎，你有没有看到 ？Have you seen my black tennis shoes？ 啊、呃，网球鞋，或者是那种就是一般的运动鞋啦。所以说在英式英文里面会讲 sneakers， 在美式英文会讲 trainers。好 ，trainers 就是 train 那个火车加 e r 再加 s。好、哦，基本上的话都要加 s， 是因为通常一双鞋都要有两只嘛，所以一定会 sneakers 或者是 trainers。They should match the slats. Slacks are like they're, they're pants. It always needs to be plural, but it's a little old-fashioned. We don't say this a lot today. 嗯，所以 old-fashioned 就是比较老派。你可能有看到那种爷爷奶奶穿的那种比较宽松的那种裤子， yeah, 有没有？哈、yeah. 哦，他说这个这个 black tennis shoes 应该可以配得上。They should match the slacks， 我那个宽松的那个休闲裤。Jennifer says, "Don't even think about it. You have to wear your nice leather shoes." Besides, you look very handsome when you are dressed to kill. Wow! So this Jennifer is very smart, right? Ah, how to convince her? She says, "You wear this super handsome dress. Why don't you wear that one?" Ah, this can convince her to wear more formal clothes, right? Ah, it's a good idea. Ah, so this place says, "Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. You have to wear your nice leather shoes. 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 You have to wear 感觉上超杀的，你穿起来超帅的，为什么不这样穿呢 ？Now I always felt dress to kill was more like for girls, for females, but I guess men can use it. 啊哈 ，OK， 老师这边提到说，当他提到 dress to kill 这个字的时候，十之八九都会想到应该是讲女生的，穿起来真的超级正、超级辣等等的。有就是在这个情况下，搞不好有的人也会用在男生身上，但是十之八九外国人听到 dress to kill 的话，大半脑中会想想着女生穿的很辣、很正的画面。Basil says, "Okay, I haven't worn those shoes in forever. I'll have to go polish, not polish them up right now." 嗯，所以到接下来呢，这个 Basil 就讲了，他说 ，Okay, I haven't worn those shoes in forever. 哦，好多年没有穿这个皮鞋了呢。好 ，I'll have to go polish them up right now. 我现在呢，就好像把它擦一下，擦亮一点。
再穿这些皮鞋。Jennifer says you better hurry. The Uber driver will be here in twenty minutes. 好 ，Jennifer 讲说了，哎，你要要擦要快啊，哈、哦。The Uber driver， 好、哦，这个我们叫的这个 Uber 呢 ，will be here in twenty minutes. 二十分钟之后就来了，你赶快擦吧。来到今天的 Tips in Use， 我们今天要来看到的呢是光鲜亮丽、穿着出众。为什么会讲到这样的一个主题呢？因为在我们的对话小标题里呢，其实出现了一个 Dressing to the Nines。那这里的话呢，我们先看到这个数字啊，零到九，当然九是最高了嘛。所以呢 ，to the Nines 它本来就有一种最棒的、完美的一个意思了。那这时候如果你前面再加一个 Dressed。变成 dressed to the nines， 这时候表示呢，就是打扮漂亮、盛装打扮的意思。那在我们的文里头了，内文里还有一个跟打扮相关的俚语呢，叫做 dressed to kill， 是要杀人的。所以呢，它是很夸张的去形容说啊，你穿着那个吸引人的程度呢，是美到帅到可以杀死人的。哦，那其实它当然真正表示的意思就是你打扮得很漂亮，穿着呢引人注目嘛。好，那我们来看看例句，让大家用一用啊。首先看到第一个例句，讲到说呢 ，Jeffrey 为了今夜的求婚呐、啊，盛装打扮。这时候你的英文就可以说呢 ，Jeffrey dressed to the nines for tonight's marriage proposal。好，这样就可以用上了。再来看到第二个例句，讲到说，看看那个美女，她打扮的也太美了吧。这里感觉有一种夸饰法，有一种这种赞叹的感觉，所以你就可以用到我们刚刚讲的第二个啊，说呢 ，Check out that beautiful woman. She's really dressed to kill. 啊，这里呢真的是要杀人般的那么美的打扮哦、啊，就可以用上了。所以呢，这个 dressed to the nines 或是 dressed to kill 两个呢，你可以看这个语气的不同呢，去选择适合的片语，你就可以表达的很顺畅了。All right, now let's take a look at dialogue two. We have well, actually, new people. We have the waitress, Ivy, and Kevin. 嗯哼，好，我们现在有不同的人好来做这个 dialogue two 第二个部分的这个地方。And it's called ordering the set meal. 好，这边主题的话是讲套餐到底要怎么点。Ivy and Kevin just sat down at a restaurant and are trying to decide what to order. 好，所以他们坐下来餐厅坐定了之后，想说啊，到底要点什么餐好呢 ？So in the first story, they were talking about a high-end restaurant. Maybe it's French, right? That's a famous high-end restaurant. But let's take a look at what the waitress says. OK， 所以我们在第一个段落里头可能看到说是一个高档餐餐厅嘛，对不对？搞不好是一间法式餐厅。那我们接下来往下看的时候，在第二段这个对话里头，你说不定可以从他的句子里面看猜得出来这是什么地方。Wendy says, "Howdy, are you folks ready to order?" That's my Texas accent. <笑><笑>所以今天老师呢故意模仿 Tex Texas 那边的口音嘛，他讲的说，哎、hey, ，Howdy, are you folks ready to order？ 好，他可能就会有一些，就说，哎，有些特殊的一些问候语。Howdy 就是一个非常好的一个例子。Right, yeah, Howdy just means hello. It's actually a question from like the 1500s, but forget all that. Just think it means hello. And when we say folks, it means people. Like Volkswagen VW 的那个意思。嗯，没有错。所以在这里的话 ，Are you folks？ 就是你们呢？就是指的人的意思。You people, you guys， 好，这种常常常常会这样讲的。你们到底准备好要点餐了吗 ？Ivy says, Do you have any specials today？ 那 Ivy 就问说了，你们有今日特餐吗 ？And we say specials with a plural s here. 嗯，没错，这个今日特餐的时候，它就会加上 s， 把它当名词的使用方式。Kevin adds, or a set for two people. 嗯、呃，那时候 Kevin 就问说，或者是这个套餐给两人吃的那种两人套餐呢 ？Ivy is very polite and helps、uh, Kevin. She says restaurants in the states don't really do that, dear. 哈哈，所以在这里 Ivy 就跟 Kevin 讲说，哎，你知道吗？在这个美国的餐厅啊，他们不是这样什么两人套餐这样做的哦。Kevin says, oh, and the waitress helpfully adds, today we have a few specials. Our first is baked fish that is served with potato salad. Soup and your choice of vegetables. Okay, so this waitress is saying, "Oh, today, we have a few different dishes. The first one is first is baked fish, okay, and that is served with potato salad. We will pair this with salad, pair with the mushrooms, soup, and soup, and soup, and your choice of vegetables. You can choose what you want to eat. I forgot she's supposed to be from Texas. <laughs> I forgot my Texas accent. Ah, I just 忘记了，好，他的口音。So potato salad, I, like when you hear this, you're thinking like like 
like mei sen thai, like lettuce mm. and stuff. There's no, there's no lettuce in this. It's potatoes with mayonnaise and mustard and onions and some other stuff. There's no like, it's not a traditional salad. Oh, so this salad is not a normal salad. So basically, it's potato with potato. It's mayonnaise, mustard, and salt. Salt, pepper, egg uh, sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, No, Ivy 就说，哇，这听起来不错哎。Now she says it sounds good. Sound is a verb. She doesn't say sounds well because when we have verbs about our senses, see, look, smell, taste, you need to use adjectives, not adverbs here. 嗯，没有错，这是很重要的概念。当你用感官动词的时候，如果说今天听起来不错，哎，看起来很棒 ，it looks great。Or that sounds good. 很多时候后面要接的是一个形容词而非副词。Yeah, you look happy, not happily. 嗯，没有错。所以在这里边特别要小心哈、哦。如果你今天在看到的文法书的话，它们有一个词叫连缀动词，其实就把它当做是像 be 动词一样用法，后面接形容词就可以了。呃、uh, ，the waitress says no Texas accent. We also have a T-bone steak with a side of roasted mushrooms, a baked potato, and a salad. Okay, so next, waitress, he also said, "We also have a T-bone steak. We have a T-bone steak with a side of, with a side of, just a side dish. 旁边呢还附带了什么东西呢 Roasted mushrooms, 有那种那种烤过的这种 mushroom 蘑菇 A baked potato, 还有烤过的这个洋芋啊，这也是那个马铃薯 And a salad, 还有搭配沙拉 Ivy says, "Well, the fish sounds delicious, not deliciously." But I'd also like to try a bit more of the food here. 嗯，所以在这里的话 ，Ivy 就讲说 ，Well, the fish sounds delicious. 老师刚刚在提醒了各位哈，这个地方要用形容词 sounds delicious， 听起来好美味哦。But I also like to try a bit more of the food here. 我想多尝一点这边的食物。Kevin says I'm definitely going to get the steak. How hungry are you? Okay, Kevin 讲说，我呢绝对是要好好的多吃点牛排的啦。哎，你有多饿啊？ Ivy says I didn't have time to get lunch today, so I'm starving. Oh, so that's why this Ivy 就讲了说，我今天呢其实没有什么时间吃午餐呢，所以说今天呢我你快饿扁了。I'm starving. And of course, we have an ing here. Starve is S T A R V E. 要去一参加。I N G. 嗯，没错，动词本身的话是 starve， 后面有那个 V E 嘛，我们要把那个 E 拿掉，加 I N G. I'm starving， 就是饿坏了、饿死了这个意思。All right, so here we go. Kevin says I'm really hungry too. Why don't we both get the specials and share a sampler platter of appetizers? Okay, so next, Kevin says, "Oh, you're very hungry, isn't it? I'm very hungry. I'm really hungry too. Why don't we both get the specials? We both get this special dish and share a sampler platter of appetizers. So we can share all the different types of appetizers. Appetizers means appetizers. If your Latin is really good, the word appetite means appetite. If your Latin is really good, the word appetite actually means to seek. So if you're hungry, you go look for food. So an appetizer, your appetite means you want to find food. Hmm, to seek 就是去寻找嘛。所以有的时候你在这种高档的法国餐厅，你会听到人家讲哦 ，bon appetit， 意思就是指叫祝你有个好胃口。这个 app 就是 appetit， 就是 appetite 的这个法文。所以 bon appetit 就是 have a enjoy your meal or have a good meal 这样的说法。And platter of course looks like the word plates, p l a t e. So a platter is just a fancy word for plate. 嗯，没错。所以 platter 的话，这种比较大一点的那种比较大的那种盘子，对不对？是听起来比较高档，比较厉害。Ivy says, "Good idea. That way, we can try a bunch of different dishes at once." 哎，他就说这样很棒哎。Ivy 就说了，这样子的话呢 ，we can try a bunch of different dishes at once. 我们一次就可以尝到各式各样不同的食物。刚刚他才不是讲到说我要尝尝多一点这这边的食物吗？现在这个机会就可以满足到他的愿望了。The waitress says, "Okay, I'll write that down. Can I get you anything to drink?" 好 ，waitress 就说了，好，我把这个记下来。那你们有没有想要喝点什么呢？ Ivy says two glasses of water will be fine. 
。OK， Ivy 讲说啊、哦，我们两杯水就可以了。Water or lemon or no lemon？ 呃，我的话，哎呀 ，lemon。Yeah， me too， lemon、yes,。Lemon， 没错。<笑> the waitress says， the waitress says no problem。I'll go put your order in and be right back with your water with lemon。Yeah, exactly. <笑>然后老师刚刚故意跟我开玩笑说，你要加柠檬还不加柠檬？我说当然要加柠檬，有的加为什么不加呢？对不对？好，我们在开玩笑。那后面这个 waiter 讲说 ，no problem， 没问题，马上来。I'll go put your order in。好，意思就是我把你的单呢送进去，这样的话厨房才会开始点嘛。Put your order in and be right back with your with with your water。马上呢帮您送水过来。好 ，be right back with you。I'll be right with you。I'll be right back with you。这是他们常常会说到，马上回来招呼你。Kevin says thanks a lot. Hey, Kevin 就说了啊，很感谢呢。这样子。Now, just we'll be back tomorrow with more of our dialogues about dining in a restaurant. But just in case we run out of time, meal. When you look at this word meal, it actually means time a really long time ago. Oh, really? Yes. So, so meal 这个字本身在很久很久以前，它其实指的是时间的意思。That's right, because we always eat food at at what、uh, specific times. So meal. The word time became the word for food. Oh, so until now, because we are always eating at the time of the day, we eat our dinner, lunch, and dinner. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, and it became the word time. So until now, it became the word time. Originally, the meal was the time of the day, Jennifer and Basil are getting ready for their anniversary dinner at a high-end restaurant. Basil, please tell me that you aren't wearing a plaid shirt and jeans. Why not? We're paying a lot for this meal, so I should be able to wear whatever I want. They probably won't even let us in the restaurant like that. There's a formal dress code. Why don't you wear that suit you got for Tina's wedding last year? I love how you look in that. But it's so hot out. It's our anniversary. You're right, honey. I'll take out the jacket and throw it on. I'm sure you'll look good. What do you think of this new dress? You look absolutely stunning. You're sweet. Now I remember why I keep you around. Have you seen my black tennis shoes? They should match the slacks. Don't even think about it. You have to wear your nice leather shoes. Besides, you look very handsome when you're dressed to kill. Okay. I haven't worn those shoes in forever. I'll have to go polish them right now. You'd better hurry. The Uber driver will be here in twenty minutes. Dialogue. Dialogue B. Ordering the set meal. Ivy and Kevin just sat down at a restaurant and are trying to decide what to order. Howdy! Are you folks ready to order? Do you have any specials today? Or a set for two people? Restaurants in the states don't really do that, dear. Oh. Today we have a few specials. Our first is baked fish served with potato salad, soup, and your choice of vegetables. That sounds really good. We also have a T-bone steak with a side of roasted mushrooms, a baked potato, and a salad. Well, the fish sounds delicious, but I'd also like to try a bit more of the food here. I'm definitely going to get the steak.、Uh, how hungry are you? I didn't have time to get lunch today, so I'm starving.、Mm, I'm really hungry too. Why don't we both order the specials and share a sampler platter of appetizers? Good idea. That way we can try a bunch of different dishes at once. Okay, I'll write that down. Can I get you anything to drink? Two glasses of water will be fine. No problem. I'll go put your order in and be right back with your water. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 